To the town of Alafria rode a stranger one fine day. Hardly spoke to folks around him. He didn't have too much to say. No one dared to ask his business, and no one dared to make a slip. For the stranger there among them, he had a big iron on his hip. It was early in the morning when he rode into the town. He came riding from the south side, slowly looking all around. He's an outlaw loose and running, came the whisper from each lip. And he's here to do some business with the big iron on his hip. In this town there lived an outlaw by the name of Texas Red. Many men had tried to take him, and that many men were dead. He was vicious and a killer, though a youth of 24. And the notches on his pistol numbered one and 19 more. Now the stranger started talking, made it plain to folks around. He was an Arizona Ranger, and he wouldn't be too long in town. He came here to take an outlaw, back alive, or maybe dead. He said it didn't matter. He was after Texas Red. Wasn't long before the story was relayed to Texas Red, but the outlaw didn't worry. The men that tried before were dead. Twenty men had tried to take him. Twenty men had made a slip. Twenty-one would be the ranger with the big iron on his hip. The morning passed so quickly and it was time for them to meet. It was twenty past eleven when they walked out in the street. Folks were watching from the windows and everybody held their breath for they knew this handsome ranger was about to meet his death. There was 40 feet between them when they stopped to make their play. And the swiftness of the ranger is still talked about today. Texas Red had not cleared leather or a bullet fairly ripped, and the ranger's aim was deadly, with the big iron on his hip. It was over in a moment, and the folks had gathered round. There before them lay the body of the outlaw on the ground. Oh, he might have went on living, but he made one fatal slip when he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his hip the big iron on his hip.